Hey guys, yeah, so another fun integral, um, part 83 this time, yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, um, yeah, to start, let's let um, theta equal um, sine x. And um, so that way, um, our limits become um, when um, theta is 0, we get 0 is uh, sine x. So x is sine inverse of 0, which is 0. And when uh, theta is 1, we get 1 is equal to sine x. So that means x is pi over 2, um, because we're switching from theta to x now, yeah? OK, OK, cool. Um, so if theta is equal to sine x, then um, d theta is equal to cosine x dx, right? And so um, what else do we need? Um, yeah, we're good to go. So um, let's uh, modify this um, integrand based on these substitutions, right? OK, we've already changed the limit. So um, in the numerator, we're going to get sine inverse of sine of x, right? So that's just x. Cool. Um, and then um, theta in the denominator is sine x. So we have this divided by sine x. But we also have d theta being cosine x dx. So we have cosine x uh, dx. But wait, this says 0 to pi over 2. And then it's x times cos x over sine x. But that's cot x and then dx. But wait, this is uh, Fun Challenging Integrals Part 73. And there we showed that the answer to this was um, pi over 2 natural log of 2. So, done.